Well, the local industrial strategy means that we are able to focus on the enormous strengths that Leicester has got, and particularly the diversity of the community of Leicester and its incredible engagement in the business life of the city. One of the enormous strengths that Leicester's got is the connectivity that already exists between the communities uh, and the wider UK economy and the wider world. I think it's important that businesses are fully engaged in the development of this strategy because uh, it gives us an opportunity to build on the links that already exist uh, and to recognise that uh, they are ones that can lead on to an even brighter future for the economy of our city. We have a unique opportunity to build on what we do best, driving economic growth and developing those industries of the future on which our future prosperity relies. We have an excellent track record of success in the East Midlands, building on the partnerships we have with the LEP and our business sectors. We also work closely with the Midlands Engine for Growth and the Midlands Connect Transport Strategy. If we get our local industrial strategy right, we'll surpass all expectations and put the East Midlands firmly on the map as a world centre for jobs in science, technology, engineering and AI. What's important about Leicester is its increasing relevance to the space sector in respect of large constellations of satellites. The UK has a potentially great future in producing constellations of satellites, but production skills, production knowledge and engineering and manufacturing research centres from the high value manufacturing catapult will be very important to feed into that development. There's a big life sciences sector already in Leicestershire. We've got great companies like 3M, Almac, uh, Thermo Fisher, of course Morningside, uh, growing and uh, building uh, a place where people can work and be successful. I think the priorities, key priorities are uh, international trade and exports. It's very important. Our products are, are really highly reputed in countries around the world. They understand the British standard and brand UK and the quality standards that we, uh, we present. The second priority would be R&D, more manufacturing locally uh, in, the, in, the, in the county to allow us to actually come up with new innovative products to actually challenge uh, some of the problems that we have in the ageing society. And the third one would be collaborations, uh, much more collaborations between industry, business and universities. We've got three fantastic universities in the county which are very uh, able and key to work with uh, business to actually create new products and services. So the priorities for improving growth and productivity in our sector are really twofold. One is investing into advanced facilities that allow us to develop the new technologies such as the Connecting Autonomous Vehicle Test Facility here at Meyer that, that we're going through at the moment and skills. And again, Meyer Technology Institute is a classic example of coming together with the local colleges to deliver the next generation skills we need. It's not only me and Norton that thinks it's a great place to be. We've got Rolls-Royce, we've got Caterpillar, we've got Triumph, we've got Royal Enfield. There's a plethora of huge global brands, all fine Leicestershire. They're home and they're not here without good reason. They're here because they enjoy it and they thrive. And it's made us a really strong global base with these businesses. Here at Norton, we, we like to kind of engage with all of our supply chain right across Leicestershire and, and the wider Midlands area and by doing that we get a much broader and wider supply chain and I think if everybody for example in automotive or whether textile transport if we're all doing the same and growing our supply chains or customers right across Leicestershire and across the Midlands engine it can only be good for all of us that we have a much stronger business community.
So our central location makes us an attractive choice for national distribution centres at Magna Park and in our neighbouring Seagro Logistics Park. Um, that provides opportunities for the number of jobs to double in the immediate vicinity of the airport and really to develop the skills and attract yet further companies into the region. I think it's uh, vital that businesses contribute to the local industrial strategy. The advanced logistics sector is a key growth area, um, particularly for this region and therefore it's really important that both government and businesses work together to really ensure that um, we maximise the benefits and increase productivity. The textile design and manufacturing industry contributes £612 million to the UK economy. It employs over 10,000 people through 1,300 businesses and believes it's a growing sector with 122% job growth in 2015-16. I believe Leicester is uniquely placed because we have the capabilities, we have the people, we've got the entrepreneurial spirit and we have the heritage. What attracted them to most to Leicester or Leicestershire was the fact that the local talent, so there was a good talent pool, they also looked at business premises um, and you know various different things, one of them also being the business buddy system that was set up for us by the Inward Investment Team. I actually found that very beneficial when I started to be able to get to know local citizens for them to give me advice and support. IBM came to Leicester for a number of reasons. First of all, the city has great communications links. It's about 100 miles from London, just over an hour on a fast train, and it's on the M1 motorway. Secondly, it's a low-cost location, which is obviously great for our business, but probably more importantly, it gives a great quality of life for the people who work for us here in Leicester. Thirdly, we've had great support from the Leicester and Leicestershire Enterprise Partnership and from the City Council, both in terms of availability of grant funding and in terms of the support that they gave us to relocate to the city. And finally, and probably most importantly for our sector, there's a great pool of skilled labour. In Leicester and around Leicester, there are five universities that between them have 100,000 undergraduates with something like 12,000 in STEM subjects. And that's just so important in the IT, high-tech industry where we work. Well, developing the, uh, the local industrial strategy for, for Leicester and Leicestershire will, will ensure that we really give businesses a great opportunity um, to, to develop a long-term strategy, which overall will bring, will bring economic growth to the region. Government has said one of the key objectives of the industrial strategy is to make businesses in the UK more productive. Um, so what we'll be focusing on is helping both those traditional industries, such as textiles, logistics, which Leicester has been very, very popular for in, in the past, and but also bringing in the new technologies and the new industries, such as space industry, life sciences, advanced logistics, manufacturing and engineering, that we can really focus on for the future.